Welcome to the Rhythms of New York. I'm Dave Brodsky, and sitting to the left of me is the one, the only, the lovely. Hi, I'm Selina Zboske. I like this wave again, you Selina. Must, You're always you waving must. with us. I have to. Well, how are you feeling today? I'm much better, thank you. Everyone knows I was a little under the weather, but well, our band tonight is good. a band called Ready and Ten. Yes. And uh, we recently shot a teaser with them at the offices of Slap Energy Beverages in Manhattan. Slap is one of our sponsors. And unfortunately, you weren't there. And I, I had to be on camera. And I, I love know. you on camera. Oh, I'm so sorry. I missed it. I'm sorry. But we made it up today. Well, Selena's is having a little bit of problem with uh, her GERD, I think you call it, right? Yeah. Gastric problems. Yeah. And uh, tell the audience what you are taking for gastric problems. So, no, I'll tell them. I'll tell them instead. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> when I'm thirsty, I drink a nice cold glass of slap energy. You know what Selena's drinks? Potatoes. <laughs> she drinks potatoes, not vodka, but potatoes. But vodka's made from potatoes, right? But right? you're drinking so potatoes. I've never heard of anybody drinking potatoes before. It's a natural remedy. Someone gave it to me, but you, of course, juice it. I don't just. But you know, a tall <laughs> glass of, of potato. You juice it with some apples, uh, a little bit of aloe vera, you know, and I, I uh, have papaya. A I have a friend of mine who's a nutritionist, and I asked him about this. He never heard of this before. Is he Spanish? No, he's not Spanish. That's probably why. I've never, I, did a, I did a Google search and never heard of this. Well, these are those little folk folklore remedies, and uh, it helped. Yeah. Uh, it's not a cure, of course, but it... it so do you drink your potatoes on the rocks or uh, um, straight? Meat? No, it's straight up. And do you like the taste? It was pretty good when you mix it with some apples and the papaya, so it was, it was good. Well, I'd rather have my slap. I'll deal with the potato. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, everybody knows that Salinas has a fan club. And tonight we have a bunch of new members. We have... Sal, Mark, Mike, Mike. We have Edwin. We, we have, have Alexis. His, Alexis, his daughter Alexis. We also have Kevin. We have Al, G, G4. And G4. And, and Rob. And Rob, the newbie. They're all members of Selena's fan club. And what do they get, Selena's, becoming a member of your fan club? They get this cute, adorable little card. And, and uh, a card? It's a membership card. A membership card. You get a phone call on your birthday. An autograph picture. And you get my autograph picture, so. Uh, you know, we're, we're working our way up there. <laughs> and if you go to our website, you can find out more about this Linus Bosque fan club. Yes, which Dave created, by the way. He's a genius. But you have a lot of members of the fan club, right? Uh, a little bit. Well, we have a really, really good band on tonight. And the band, they, they found me, I think, on MySpace. Or maybe we were written up in a, uh, in a newspaper article or a magazine. Joe, the manager, mentioned that he found me through a magazine. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So we're getting up in the world. We're becoming famous. This show is actually seen around the world. And I get a lot of requests from people around the world to be on the show. The show is called... The Rhythms of New York. And we have fans from... All over the place, New York. <laughs> well, we really appreciate everybody getting in contact with us. But unless you're a band from New York City, we're not going to have you on the show. And the, the bands that have, are on the show perform live. They perform... Their own original music. No covers. And we don't use backtracks. We don't do karaoke. We do live music. And every one of the bands we have is a fantastic band. And if you're interested, make sure you MySpace us, email us, check our website, and, and let us hear your work. We he you heard one song already from uh, uh, Ready and Ten. And, uh, well, Ready and Ten's going to perform three songs tonight, yes. actually. And they're awesome, cool rock guys. I'm, like, so excited. And they're cute. And this is their album. And you can get their album on their website and MySpace page. Yes, you can. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Sal, Mark, Mike and Mike, and they're called... Ready and Tech. Another day and no one's learning I think we'll be all right No need to put up a fight They never tell us You've never really been a part of Anything to feel It's the part of the deal And I'm so tired of playing this game And everything time is seen So tired of hanging around And never making a sound so tired of living my life by someone else in your side It's finally my time to leave this world behind It's my face 
eyes always tell us to be patient They never realize what's behind the line They never tell us you've never really been a part of anything at all You just take a fall And I'm so tired of playing this game And everything's always the same so tired of hanging around and never making a sound So tired of living my life by someone else on the side It's finally my time to leave this world behind So tired of playing this game and everything's always the same. So tired of hanging around and never making a sound. And I'm so tired of living my life by someone else in the side. It's right around my time to leave this world behind. And I'm so tired of playing this game and everything's always the same. I'm so tired of hanging around and never making a sound. So tired of living my life by someone else on the side. It's not only my time to leave this world behind. It's not only my time to leave this world behind. It's not only my time to leave this world behind. It's not only my time to leave this world behind. Behind. Time, time to leave. Hi, I'm Dave Brodsky, and you're watching The Rhythms of New York. We have Ready and Ten with us. Uh, today I want to thank the guys behind the scenes. We want to thank Robin on camera one, uh, Greg, G4, who's working at camera, also upstairs, working audio. We have audio. Edwin. And we have Edwin, Edwin, who's celebrating a birthday tomorrow. Happy Edwin, birthday. Edwin, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Edwin. <laughs> and his daughter, Alexis. And his cute daughter, Alexis, who's our production assistant today. She's going off into the side a little bit. And Al, of course, as Al director. and Kevin. And Kevin, the sound guy. Well, today we have our good friends for Ready and Ten. Now, normally we sit down when we do our interviews, but today we're standing up because of technical reasons. We don't have a lot of microphones. And, you know, Selena's and I are labbed up. We have little lavalier microphones. We have two handheld microphones. But our good friend Sal has devised a better way to do the interview. It's much better. And Can would you show the audience? Want to do a sound check on yes, it? Yes, do a sound check, please. <laughs> testing. <laughs> well, guys, huddle up. <laughs> testing, one, two. Testing, testing. one, two. Oh, one, testing, yeah, one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Check two. two. Check How'd you guys two. get together? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more questions? It's because I'm the only female here. That's what it is. And this is the Rhythm Stop New York. You know that, guys. <laughs> We're not the Playboy channel. <laughs> it's not half. Just checking the mic. So I want to introduce everybody. Well, actually, let you guys introduce yourselves. I'm Mike. The drummer for Ready and Ten. I'm Sal. I sing and play guitar for Ready and Ten. Uh, Mark, play guitar, sing. And Mike, I play bass for Ready and Ten. Well, I'm surprised you said Ready and Ten. I thought it was for another band. Yeah, well, they all said Ready and Ten, so I had to follow suit. Well, Mark didn't say he's too cool. So tell us, Sal, tell the audience about how uh, Ready and Ten came about. How'd you get the name Ready and Ten? Ready and Ten came about when I was. Uh, 
Lost for words at the Rhythms of New York. <laughs> <laughs> Read the cue cards. That's why they're there, you know? Don't be nervous. Don't be shy. Just no, spit no, it no. out. No, and um, I was starving one day, and I was trying to think of uh, something to eat that was quick and Chinese food. Ready and 10. I looked at the menu. I thought that was a cool name for the band. We needed a name. That is so cool. I love that. That's it. Did you guys give a vote or you just went uh, with it? I unfortunately was I wasn't available for the vote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. Yeah, I was okay. a show book and we needed a name really fast. Okay, yeah. well, it's a great name. We booked our first show. We uh, booked our first show before we had a name for the band, so we needed one quick. Oh wow! And the guy at the venue calling me up. I gotta make flyers. I gotta do this. Gotta do that. I'm like, oh, ready in ten. <laughs> Just like that. Well, it's, an, it's an awesome name. I love it. It's Thanks. excellent. Well, tell me a little bit about the founding of the band. How long have you been together? Uh, we've been together for four years. And uh, Mark and I have been playing in another band uh, together for a couple of years. Um, and we were writing together and we just started doing a lot of things on our own and decided that we wanted to form an original rock band. And then we just found these guys and the rest is history, really. Where do you guys play, I guess? like? Colleges or bars or wh what do you guys? Yeah, we we hit some colleges. We do clubs, you know, in the Northeast, Connecticut, Rhode Island. You can check our website, readyintend.com, to see where we're going to be. Um, you know, mostly Northeast right now. Any favorite places that you like? Any any like Boston? Okay. Washington D.C. We've had a really good time down there. So. Okay. New York. Rhythms of New York Studio. Of course. Oh, oh thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us a little That's bit about your music. Thing. What type of music do you perform? If I had to ask you this question, well, I'm going to ask it to you anyway. <laughs> tell me about Ready and Ten. Who are you? And why should the, why should the fans be interested in you? Get in there, Mark. No, I, yeah. I, I don't <laughs> yeah. Too much. Take it, Mark. Uh, Ready and Ten. Well, we, uh, we just... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find. You know, it's a tough question for a band, but. Uh, well, you know, what kind of music? When Sal and I got together, we just, you know, we share the, lo uh, the love of, you know, great songs and hooks and melodies like everybody else. And we're, you know, we love to write parts and fit them together. And, you know, it's kind of what our songs, you know, we really like to write great parts, whether it's a riff or, you know, a bridge or something that, you know, some kind of part that hooks the listener in. Um, you know, and we keep it kind of in the, you know, we'll, the styles we like, rock, you know, some little elements of folk and pop music in there, too. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a hard question, you know, when you have to define yourself, but... <coughs> well, we recently shot a teaser with you guys, mm -hmm. and Selena's wasn't present at the teaser. Again, I'm and sorry. And I think that uh, you yeah, want to give uh, Selena something, correct? Right? Yes, we have a... Uh, a Ready and Ten t-shirt for her. Oh, Compliments awesome. Compliments of the band. Thank for her you. For being so nice to us today. Oh, that is so cool. Hey, I got my shirt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. And Love if you it. like the shirt, you can actually go buy one on your website. Yes, readyintend.com or myspace.com slash readyintend. And of course, the album, Face the World. So So tell us something about your album. Can we ask a new guy? Uh, Sal, you <laughs> might want to take this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the album starts off with our most straight-ahead rock song. Um, and it kind of like weaves in and out of blues, pop, ballads, but it's all just different versions of rock music. Um, there's a lot of harmonies, a lot of vocal stuff going on. Um, we, we had a blast making it, and uh, yeah, we hope you all enjoy it. Well, we have Mike shaking his head over here. So Mike, you want to add anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not rock music. I, wasn't agree I, was, I was agreeing with everything you said. But yeah, I think, I think what's most exciting for us is we've had this album for two years, and it's still selling, and people are still catching on to it. And, it's new for some people, so you know we're recording now, but we don't have to rush into a new album because this is still new to a lot of people. So. Why do your fans love you? I'm not saying like you. Why do your fans love you? Okay, uh, we know uh, you got a looks, great manager. We're handsome. Okay. <laughs> Sal's handsome. They are cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> we're having a great time. I mean, you know, we started a band because we wanted to have a great time. We, you know, I mean, we, we wanted to write songs, but uh, I think it shows... You know, our fans just get a sense that we really appreciate them when they come out to the show. So we work hard to really, you know, we put a lot into our live show, and I think that's what's helped us uh, to build the fan base that we have now. Yeah, we, we often become very good friends with our, with our fans. Um, they come to our shows, they email us, and we're always hanging out with them afterwards, whether it's backstage or watching another band play. We always stick around, have a few drinks, and, uh, you know, we, we become very friendly with everyone. So I think that's one of the things that really our fans love about us. How do you describe your show? High energy, high impact? 
Uh, it's def- fun. It's definitely fun. It's a lot of fun, and it's high energy. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, we just totally we we have a great time on stage, and it definitely shows. The fans are having fun. We feed off of off the fans also. Like best feeling in the world is seeing a fan sing back the words to you. There's nothing better than that, and that that just completely energizes the band. And even if we're playing a slower song, if it's one of the ballads. Doesn't even matter. You see that and you, you're putting. We put just everything out there, so that's, we have the new great. guy here. Yeah, he's kind of quiet over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to say something. So the drummer. <laughs> so tell me something about <laughs> why do you want to play with Ready and Ten? <laughs> what made you decide to play with Ready and Ten? Well, I was uh, looking to get involved in a project uh, for a while, and I come across these guys that they were looking for someone. We're the and only ones that would take it. It was uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no one else wanted me. Uh, these guys were, Aww. I guess, desperate, so they. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, it. it uh, once I heard the music, I was pretty much hooked, you know, right away, and um, it was just great because, you know, we we kind of gelled pretty good right away, and I gained three good friends out of it too. So it's it's been uh, it's been great, and the music is awesome. That's really sweet. We read that you guys also like to give back to the community mm-hmm. um, yeah. with the Lou Gehrig's Foundation, yes. and we it's so rare you hear people talking about it. Mm-hmm. We know people do it, but like to actually talk about it, and I find that beautiful. You know, because you guys are giving back. You're giving music and you're giving help to people that need it. So thank you. We appreciate that, you know, and the well, people out there benefiting. Well, at, least, at least we do. A lot of people talk about it, but we, like, all summer we spent um, selling our CDs in various stores <laughs> on Long Island and throughout New York, playing a couple of shows, and we gave half of the profits to um, Ride for Life was the, um, was the, is the charity. And uh, yeah, they help. They help out ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, we played a few shows for them, and we we also got a lot of we got sponsorship for it. <clears throat> so wow. people were buying the CD for ten dollars, and twenty dollars was being do- donated to the cause. That's which amazing. Was, which, was, which was totally that's great. amazing. That's beautiful. Well, we l- always like to have the artists tell the fans out there or any aspiring artists some advice. You know. We'll, let them know what, what they need, you know, what kind of mojo they successful. need. To become successful. To be yeah. like you guys. So we'll start off. Well, with maybe you. not to be like them, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we'll start off. Yeah. 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 We'll, yeah. we'll yeah. go around. So we'll These guys have them. a really, really big fan base here. In fact, they have their own bus. <laughs> yes. They have a yellow tour bus. They really yeah. do. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah. I asked them if Philly yeah, Jones was on the bus, and they had no idea what I was talking about, <laughs> no. you know? Okay, so we're going to start it this way. A little yeah. advice. Uh, you got to believe in your product. you got to believe in your band members, and, you know. You're gonna get tired sometimes. You're gonna get frustrated. You just gotta keep going forward, you know. And you know, good thing that we all we're all very good friends. So we just, you know, we pick each other up and just keep going, you know. Thank you. Uh, carry a tape recorder around and write everything down and uh, find people that you like to play with. And um, like to perform with, you mean, right? Not like to play with, because you're next to Selena, so. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, just because I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm a girl. Find people that you like, you like to play and perform with. Uh, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. No, I'd say you know I'd agree with Mike. You got to keep on it, and you got to you got to just like Joe always tells us, you, you got to be a bulldog. You got to you can't let go of what you believe in, and you got to just keep going for it. And you have to commit. It's a it's a it's a big commitment to be in a band, and if you want to succeed and get to the next level, you have to treat it like that. Yeah, I mean you know to pretty much copy what they said. You know it's a lot of work, so you know. You definitely have to put a lot of time and effort in, and I think another thing is be true to yourself. You know, mm-hmm. be yourself, and whatever you feel that you should be writing and performing, you know, don't try to stray to, you know, be like someone else or sound like someone else. You know, whatever sound suits you best is what you should go with. Okay, we want to want to thank Ready and Ten for being on the show tonight. Yeah, and, and, and Joe Scroker for, for and Joe for also. Joe, for thank you so much because these are they're amazing. <laughs> I and love them. <laughs> and this is Ready and Ten. And thank you very much for being on the show. You're welcome back anytime. Thank, thank you for thank watching you. the Rhythms of New York. I read it in the paper again. Another man says he's my friend. He wants a song to live just like him He says my life is nothing but sin Say my love for you is dream Say our lives are not the same You wanna change us from wrong to right But I can't deny my feelings tonight So 
on the TV today Another man who knows what the law would say He wants us all to bed away But for the time he hides behind his judgment day They say my love for you is dream They say our lives on and on the sea They want to change us from wrong to right Heard it on the radio last night Another man is itching for this fight He wants a song to stay out of sight oh, He ignores the world that he promised to unite Say my love for you is true They say our lives are an honesty You want to change us from wrong to right I can't deny my feelings tonight Hi, I'm Dave Borowski, and you're watching The Rhythms of New York. Hi, I'm Celine Nesbosque, and we'd like to thank Sal, Mark, Mike, and Mike for joining our show. Make sure you stay through the end of the show, and you can find out where to buy their merchandise and listen to more of their music. Ready in 10. Shallow water the trap Baby don't cry at me Try to pull me under I don't wanna drown in your shallow water Maybe it's time to see All the things you've done to me I don't wanna drown in your shallow water Truth or bones You thought you could do better than me You've been 
Drown, it's all for 